hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video we are going to create this amazing dashboard using chat gpt and excel so yeah you heard it right you can also build this kind of dashboard just using chat gpt and excel and we will see how to do that in this particular video but before we move forward let me tell you that beaten x has an amazing workshop on ms office ms excel using chat gpt and other ai tools the link is in the description and we will talk more about it later in the video do you want to convert boring looking data in excel just like this to stunning looking dashboards in power bi just like this if you want to learn all of this then join me in my 9 rupees power bi domination workshop so now talking about this dashboard if you see this particular dashboard here we have a slicer that shows the different product type that is clothing and electronics and here we see the total sales and then we have the total sales by month and then we can compare the sales for different regions like north and south regions are there and how the sales is going on right so this is a fictitious data set uh, just for demonstration that how we can leverage chat gpt to create this kind of dashboard and this is fully dynamic you see if i click on electronics the data are changing you can see the totals and all these trends this particular one it is changing so it is fully dynamic so you see and we can create this in minutes using chat gpt now let's see how to do that this is my sales data right this is the data we have this is a very small data that i curated for this analysis so we have a month column where we have different months then a region column where we have north and south two regions and in the product type column we have two kinds of product one is electronics and clothing and then in the sales amount we have the different sales amount for different combinations of month region and product type now let's say you have given this data and you have no idea what to do so we can craft a question and ask chat gpt to give us something right so let's open chat gpt so i have already opened chat gpt and let me uh, ask the question too okay so i have already written my question i'll just paste it and we will read it out together so it says i have a data set with the following column headers in excel so i'm giving the context to chat gpt that whatever the things i have and then i'm asking tell me how can i create a dynamic data dashboard in excel uh, with slicer and filter so i'm not giving anything like you know i want to do this or do that i'm just giving i just want some kind of analysis and i want to create a dashboard which is dynamic that uses slicers and filters you know like just like that so let's ask this question and see what chat gpt comes up with oh uh, yeah you see it is giving us different steps very nice and let's see uh, let it complete and we will go through it okay okay you see so detailed uh, the answer is so detailed man see eight step process it has given us so maybe some of the steps are not very useful but let's see so it says that ensure a data is organized uh, with headers in excel so it is organized and we have month region uh, product type and sales as you can see it everything is organized then it is saying that select your data set go to insert tab click on table uh, make sure to check the box as table my table as a header so basically it's saying that make it as a table right so basically if you go here if you could insert and click on click in this one this will become a table okay so let's make it a table okay my table has a header it says that you know check that so we'll check that so now it becomes a table so table is actually uh, if you have a data set and you have the luxury of converting that into table uh, always do that because table has a lot of advantages over you know just uh, cells in the spreadsheet okay especially when you are analyzing something and then it says that click on any cell or within your table go to insert tab and click on pivot tables in the dialog box confirm the data range and uh, 
choose where, whether to place pivot table in a new worksheet or the existing one then it's saying that drag the fields month region and product type into rows or column section of the pivot tables right so yeah let's see now we know how to create a pivot table let's say so so when we started we don't have any idea how to do or how to deal with this data but now we know so let's go to insert tab and then click on the pivot table so now it says that uh, table range so since we have converted this into a table it is telling that the table range is table one because the name of the table is table one this is a default name now i want to uh, create a pivot table in a new worksheet okay so let me click on okay so you see it created a new worksheet okay and in the pivot field it is saying that drag the suitable things into filters columns and rows and value if you see it is saying that um here drag the fields month region product type into rows and column section of the pivot table so let me drag the month to rows and the region to columns and maybe product type to filters and sales amount to values so now you see product type you can select uh clothing or maybe if you say you can select all or maybe you can select clothing so this is for clothing and then you can also select for electronics so this is for electronics and then we have months here and then we have north and south and then uh, for different regions the sales for different regions and so this is already dynamic you see just uh, using a few drag and drop menu and using chat gpt we are able to create a pivot table like this before we move forward in the topic let me tell you that ai is not going to replace you but a person using ai will so if you don't want to lag behind then join the workshop to learn ai hacks in ms office using chat gpt and other ai tools you don't need to have any prior knowledge for this and i'm pretty sure that you will become hyper efficient post this so what are you waiting for join our workshop by clicking the link in the description below now let's get back to our topic now let's read it out what else what else so it's saying that adding a slicer so click anywhere on the pivot table go to insert tab and click on slicer choose any field you want to use as a slicer right so let's uh, click here let's go to insert and let's go to it says slicer right slicer is right here so let's click on slicer now let's say we want a product type a slicer right so if i click on okay so yeah so what is the difference between this filter and slicer uh, well technically nothing uh, but visually you can see it is uh, looking more good so there is a drop down option and you can click here and see if i'm clicking this one this one is also changing so if i click on clothing this is also changing into clothing electronics this is also changing into electronics this is because this particular slicer is created from this particular pivot table that's why it is on sync with the pivot table okay now let's see uh, then it's saying creating charts select your pivot table go to insert tab choose the desired chart type bar or line chart customize chat as needed title access level okay now we know how to create chats there okay so I'll click on anywhere in the pivot table go to insert as per the instruction given by chat gpt create a suitable chart now we know for you know january february like this kind of data where, where monthly data it is better to show it in trends so let me click on line chart and click it like this so yes you see we created this particular you know north south region data here and this is dynamic as well wow you see just in a few minutes we created this amazing chart right now let's see what else then it's saying testing and finalizing uh, connecting slicer to chart click on the chart go to pivot table chart analyzer okay click on the chat go to pivot table chart analyzer okay this one we have we got it already there then it says that click on insert slicer choose the slicers you have created okay insert slicer and this is the product type slicer that we need click on okay so basically it created duplicate since we already created this one so it's not required so maybe i can delete this one and now you see this is also working and it is also sync with the chart 
and the pivot table so everything is in sync perfect sync right so you see how easily i created this chart right and in case let's say you using all these things also you can also like for example here also i can change to product type so here also if i want let's say electronics so you see everything changes to electronics and here also region also if i want to select like uh, any region if i want to see only one region i can do that or uh, you know month here also if i want to deselect some of the month then i can do that and the same changes will be reflected in this pivot table as well but i don't want to see all this in my chart right so what can i do if i go to pivot table chart analyzer there is an option called uh, uh, field buttons right and just click on hide all right so now it's gone and chat gpt also says that we can add chat data labels and everything load so let's say uh, we have to provide some access title so right or not maybe access title maybe chart title right so chat title chart title is here and we can provide any chart title so something like monthly trend so you can give it or uh, take your time to format it you know provide appropriate color or maybe if there is a brand color you can do that and but the main thing is um, i want to create a separate sheet for my dashboard so how to do that how to move this chart so there is a very good option so just right click on the chart when selecting and then there is an option called as move chart right so if i click on move chart then either i can create a new chart set or maybe i can place it on any of the uh basically on any of the sheets that is present so if i want to uh, take it to the sales data sheet okay if i click on okay now this is gone now here it is here it comes okay and this is already in sync with um this one so if i change it to clothing right if i go here now this one is for clothing actually okay and if i want to take this particular slicer to the other sheet all i have to do is just you know control x to cut and here i just need to give control b and if i change it now see everything is in sync i change it to electronics if i go to sheet 6 this is also electronics right and let's say i want to see the total numbers right so if you see my dashboard here i have total sales as well and this is also dynamic how can i do that how can i get this particular one so very simple if you go to here let's say okay here i want click on equal to go to our pivot table this is my grand total right so i just click here and click on enter so now as i change this is also changing and this is nothing reflecting this particular number in this particular sheet simple formula and in this dashboard if you see all i did is those things only we created charts here also i created charts added titles then here i can uh, change the slicer i have added slicer and you already know how to add slicers and this is the number equal to get pivot data which is i am getting from this particular pivot which is driving this particular dashboard and then here i have another chart just to show the overall trend right and just coloring the background text font increasing the test font and then coloring the text font that's what i have done rest of the thing but now you got the technical stuff right you know how to create a chart how to move a chart to the other sheet how to create a slicer how to make everything dynamic you know all of it and with just a little bit of uh, you know designing skills you can create this amazing dashboard for you i hope you understand how easy it is with chat gpt helping you to create such amazing dashboards in excel in minutes even if you don't know much about excel isn't that amazing so yeah we have more amazing stuffs coming on stay tuned stay safe and i will see you next time please do like comment share the video and subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos also do check out our workshop link in the description we'll see you there thank you